figured I'd make a video of ho hooking up the wideband to the AC compressor line. It's this line. This is for a 94-95 LT1. I'm sure it would be the same for any Corvette or Camaro LT1, but the AC compressor line is just hanging out here by the fender wheel on the passenger side. I took the computer out. And I'm running the line down through there. I just put a little hole in the grommet to run it through there. Once I get it ran all the way down through there, then I'll connect it there. And I'll probably just route this back down through there because I don't use the air conditioner. This is a convertible. And it's in Kentucky. And in my opinion, it don't get that hot in Kentucky. But that's just me. And then the wide band is hooked up in here. <laughs> I'm gonna get a pillar pod for that and it's just sitting down there for now. I might, there's a guy that makes covers. They go on those, I might do that, but I might just put it up here on a pillar pod. But anyway, there's the white wire. This is the five volt reference wire. So I'm gonna run it to that wire and that's pretty much it. I'll make a video of how to, I'm gonna run this through e-hacks and I'll make a video of how to um, do the e-hacks part to set that up. Alright, so I got everything ran. Open up e-hacks. Go to settings. And go to wideband. Right there. And then you'll see it's set on AC pressure. And then it says the 5 volts there. It's already pretty much preset. You just put click wide band and go to AC pressure. That's it. I wired everything underneath there. I still got to put the kick panel on on that side. Come up around underneath there. Oh, you can see the wire a little bit. And then it comes up in here. That's it. And then I'll turn the wide band on. And it's in that little spot right there what and say antenna four right now but we'll turn it on and there's it coming on and then you can see it's reading over here so 14.7 car's not started so it's gonna see it's zeroed out because the car's not started but it still keeps going up on this side which is cool because on my wide band, it, it, I think it gives up at like 17. And as you can see over here, it just keeps going. It's just reading all air because the car ain't started. It's too late at night. But anyway, it works. I'm glad it works. That'll make uh, logging a lot easier. And I'll be able to adjust my air fuel ratio a lot better because I'll be able to see it on this screen and match it up to my math table. Over it's at. Yep, and be able to log a lot better and be able to adjust the math table a lot easier. Alright? Works good.